Hello and welcome to Kerala Gray Market, our daily show on <coughs> Nifty Bank, Nifty and USDNR. Uh, very interesting expiry today, a lot of things going right for us, a lot, lot of things uh, going wrong for us. Uh, actually nothing going wrong for us, I think we predicted this uh, correctly, we thought the expiry is within uh, uh, 5900 and 5700 and it, it played out exactly that way, right? It went to 5900, tried to test it, it came below, it went up. In all uh, corners, it uh, perfectly uh, followed our supports and resistances which we had drawn on the channels as well as the support and resistances we had drawn on the open interest analysis. So overall, everything went well. Uh, for those who are regulars, this is a typical day when you know uh, uh, things went according to plan. So now the question is, what next? What do we do with the market, right? So let's start with the analysis of uh, Nifty charts. See, there's nothing new in the chart. We always have consistently known what is happening here. In fact, it is so crazy, right? Look at how many times it has perfectly bounced from the top of this horizontal line. So many times it has consistently dropped, dropped, dropped. So there's a lot of consistent rejections at the 15700 line. I think the only thing which held the market today at 15700 is the fact that there's a lot of people who sold puts at 15700 they probably carried the market and had they not been around i think the market would have become toasted long time back um, which i think is going to happen tomorrow or in the ne next week right but let's not try to predict let's not try to get ahead of yourself let's uh, objectively analyze what the market is most likely to do for tomorrow starting with nifty number one this thing is still very much intact uh, there is a rejection at 5900 at every point <coughs> Now let's look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart is also showing a huge rejection, but here's the catch, right? We saw a bearish, sorry, bullish harami at this level, which is the 100 weekly moving average. And the harami is usually a reversal signal and it did give a top or a bounce after the bullish harami like we thought last week, but now it is going back into the bullish harami. Now for a bullish harami to be confirmed, it is necessary that the close after the of the weekly candle after the bullish harami weekly candle happens above the close of the previous candle so a close above 15700 will confirm the harami and that is some hope for the market but if the close happens below 15700 then uh, the harami gets threatened because the close did not happen above the close of the harami last week which means that there's no confirmation which means market can be wide open to downsides now let's look at monthly candle also because tomorrow is a monthly expiry this is also not looking bad because it's a proper red candle so in three time frames things look bad one is on daily time frames there is a rejection doji on weekly time frame the harami is getting threatened maybe tomorrow if it closes above 15700 in a very strong closing then we are safe tomorrow safe name market is safe we I mean, it depends on what we are if tomorrow market closes above 15850 then this becomes an inverted bullish hammer above this support line right so a close above 15850 would market make the market very strong a close below this level of 15700 would make the market very a week so tomorrow is practically a make or break day for a weekly candle uh, so we have to watch these levels so that's our read on nifty right so let's write it out nifty close above 15 850 is a strong sign close below 15 700 makes the market weak weak right now let's look at bank nifty charts today bank nifty gave a bullish engulfing candle which is so confusing but there was rejection at the top now here's a catch right this is a tiny engulfing so i can't call it a proper engulfing because for an engulfing to be proper it needs big size so it's it will be incorrect to call this engulfing a proper engulfing now here's a catch right bank nifty is testing the 100 weekly moving average and last week's kind of bullish harami is under threat now so if tomorrow bank nifty gives a negative close let's say 33,000 or something then 
we have violated the 100 weekly moving average but that's not a big support in bank nifty but the important part is this becomes a bearish piercing if there is a negative close tomorrow so you have to watch for the weekly candle so weekly candle can become a bearish piercing candle if close below around close around let's say 33100 or below 33100 levels right Now let's look at option chain. <clears throat> now it's very early to look at option chain. I think we have a new feature of oh yeah. Never mind. So I think we are pushing a new feature tomorrow, which we'll soon announce. So let's look at option chain of 7th July, right? 7th July option chain says that. 15800 has 30 lakh calls, 15800 has 30 lakh puts also, uh, 16000 has 32 lakh calls, Malab, this is even Steven right, what is there to look at it at such an early time, point in time, uh, PCR is uh, 1.06 bullish but this is all day one data, so I think we should not read too much into it, we should ignore it. The important part here is of course FIDI data. I pray to God they have oh, thank God. <laughs> there are two times as many puts as calls. Uh, this we can ignore because this is uh, the expiry related uh, long and short. But net net, uh, it doesn't make sense. Futures they have shorted 1200 crores. Stocks they have shorted 1100 crores. So we can say both around 1200 crores, right? 1200 CR sell and 1200 CR sell. Options 2x puts as calls bearish. Right? This is bearish. This is bearish. This is bearish. Basically, nothing changes. Long term bearish. Sorry, there is no long term bearish. I think this is a today was a today at 15900. Or let me put it this way sell on any uptick opportunity as long as nifty is below 15700 <laughs> because the weekly will also become a weak candle right i don't think we'll get a opportunity short tomorrow at 15800 levels because uh, at least um, us markets they can, it looks like a very bad opening tomorrow so my trade is sell long term calls and sit on it. I mean, I think this has been our trade forever, right? So there's nothing new. But I think if there's one thing which deserves attention for discussion today, that is dollar. Dollar tomorrow likely is to go further and I think we might see panicky levels of dollar. It will also become very volatile because, may become very volatile because if dollar goes to 79, 50, 80 levels, you have to intervention for RBA to come right? So, um, it's it's going to be very uh, nasty that way because if RBI is forced to come and inter intervene uh, then the dollar will become very vol volatile right so the, I, I, in fact if you ask me right if there's one thing which I've always maintained throughout the last one month or two it has been that look dollar is looking very terrible and that cannot happen in unless the world markets go for a toss. So let's quickly look at what the world markets are doing. Dow is down a percent. S&P is down a percent. But that's not bad. It's one percent is nothing. Nasdaq is down a percent and some more. Wow, okay. And this GX Nifty is 15700. Right? That's, that's not much. So I mean, that's not much. That's not good either. So net net, uh, I think. Uh, the most important play is this as long as nifty is below 17 uh, sorry 15 850 there is no long uh, there is no long till 15 850 is breached on nifty uh, there is no long till 
33600 is broken in bank nifty right so basically we are going to stay short till wherever the market takes us because nifty and bank nifty both have broken two critical supports and here's the thing right every single day which elapsed between uh <coughs> elapsed from monday has given me confidence that this is the right view because look at the sheer number of rejections that happened every time it breaks 15 15 tries to break 15 850 there is massive selling even today right market went almost to 5900 it could not sustain came down i wanted to short at this level but na margin tha bacha tha na himmat tha so i'm i'm still sitting on uh, old calls which i had shorted thinking ki you know but uh, you you get the better right so uh, but yeah it 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 is just very clear that market is going to be finding it very difficult to break this 15850 level so this is our overall read for today uh, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow uh, uh, so, so tomorrow nahi, sorry uh, sunday because there's no market on saturday what will we do with the friday analysis so we'll see you again on sunday night with uh, our uh, uh, you know weekly and uh, monday morning monday monday uh, anticipatory program on uh, weekend Uh, so till then uh, as usual this is not recommendation tips or multivagor or any of that stuff uh, it's just uh, analysis i think we have some time for one analysis dakshina murthy who's like a very old regular not old in the sense that very regular <coughs> viewer of us he has he, he he's been he's been watching us since at least a year or two so that way he is like really old in the system he has been A follower forever, so he's asking for Tata Motors analysis. Let's do that quickly. So Tata Motors, uh, oh, okay. I had a long old chart of Tata Motors. Oh, this is nice. So I had to give a disclaimer. I shorted Tata Motors at four uh, twenty. Uh, Tata Motors went to three seventy. I did not exit my short. Then it came back to four twenty five or something, and I had to stop out at a loss. <laughs> that was very stupid what I did, but but it has happened to me. Uh, so uh, tata motors i had drawn a channel on tata motors long time back connecting these but i am not sure if this is the channel still let's see this could be the channel also so i am finding it a little hard to uh, confidently say what is the channel but let's look at what is really obvious to us okay one is 200 dma is above 100 dma is above 50 dma is above the stock price now this is a classic bear case so normally in a bearish market stock price will be below 50 50 will be above 100 100 will be below 200 so all of this is matching number 2 it is unable to break this 50 day moving average also it is unable to break this horizontal support which is the top of this bearish engulfing candle right uh, also there is a gap fill somewhere around here this is a strong zone, zone of selling this part so that's also unable to break this gap so there are too many resistances here this uh, bearish engulfing this gap fill uh, this uh, 50 dma etc and it has formed a sort of engulfing candle here uh, which is obviously not nice because it can be bad for the stock now let's look at weekly so daily it looks more negative than positive now let's look at weekly weekly it has formed a bullish angle bullish harami last week just like nifty however here is the catch it hit the 50 weekly moving average also this time and it took rejection so what are the two moving averages 50 day moving averages and rejection with volume with the bullish engulfing almost getting formed here all the tiny bullish engulfing again what is the problem here this harami got reversal but it hit the 50 weekly moving so 50 day moving average and 50 weekly moving average both are coinciding and giving strong resistance here right that is one problem and you have seen that there is a clear rejection from the top now let's finally look at monthly chart monthly is the problem 
this is a bearish engulfing i mean this is i mean sort of perfect bearish engulfing because a perfect bearish engulfing has the red candle completely covering the green candle but this is only covering the body but this candle is engulfing the body of the green candle but i mean the counter argument is that the green candle has a very long tail and therefore it's not engulfing so let's just say that the red ka body is covering the green ka body and in that way it is a imperfect engulfing but it is a kind of engulfing so on all time frames tata motors looks short I, I mean, I would say that this is not a stock which you want to purchase at this point of time. Also, the long term trend is very clear, right? It is lower lows and lower highs. So, Tata Motors is in downtrend. Uh, so, this is uh, so this is our one stock which we analyzed for today. So, anyway, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again on uh, Sunday. As usual, these are not tips, recommendations, advice, multi bagger you know follow me and buy my courses so that you can buy your bmw scheme nothing like that I, I don't think i have any paid courses anymore i think i've done one course for a friends for two friends have, have asked me to do courses that is paid but i don't think it's insensible or youtube anything is paid but anyway uh, please do your own research more importantly please do your own risk management you and i could be doing the same view same trade but we might have two different capitals and two different outcomes so it is extremely important that you trade according to your comfort psychology trading risk management etc so see you again on sunday till then please take care and keep your capital safe goodbye